Now that we know where to post our question, the next portion is how to post a good question. It's pretty straightforward, but sometimes it gets overlooked. And that is when you post a question, once you've figured out where is the proper place to post that question or to put your comment, um, there's, uh, there's two main things that I want to point out here in regards to XDA etiquette. The first is that uh, no one has to help you. No one, uh, no one is required to watch these posts and make sure to assist you with your problem. Uh, it's mostly kind, good-hearted users who are taking time out of their day to assist you. And so with that in mind, when you ask someone a question or when you post a, a problem or when you post a comment, I'd highly recommend that you do so in a manner that is extremely polite and respectful. Uh, I know that might seem kind of strange, but uh, it seems to go on quite a bit here where that, that doesn't happen. Um, consider this. If you say, uh, we'll go back to our GPS problem that we were looking up, and we say, okay, you have a GPS problem with this particular ROM. You could say something to this effect. This ROM sucks really bad. I can't believe the GPS doesn't work. How am I supposed to even get this thing to lock on? And you will probably not get very many good responses. If you get any at all, they probably will not be um, <clears throat> polite or uh, respectful or kind to you. Um, likewise, you could post the same question and say, Hey everyone, I've been trying to use this ROM and I'm having a little bit of trouble with the GPS. Do you think you guys can help me? And a response, the tone of the response is going to garner more assistance from others that read it. They're going to say, oh, this, this person is trying to utilize this ROM and uh, they need some help. And so they uh, are more likely to assist you. Um, with that, there's a few things that also often get omitted from a question or a comment that I think are very, very important. And the first is that you should give as much detail as possible. Just saying that your GPS doesn't work doesn't really help anybody. Uh, they might wonder, well, does it not work at certain places? Does it not work all the time? By not work, does it not recognize the GPS at all, or does it not lock on? So the more information you can provide, the better. And with that, uh, you should always be providing what exact phone, what exact ROM, and uh, if possible, what exact build, what exact uh, kernel is being used, and any further relevant data like what exact GPS program you were using and what uh, exactly is the problem or error message you get when you have this problem with the GPS. And we're just using the GPS as an example. It could be the same for using a camera or for a battery problem or whatever the case may be. The other thing that's very very helpful is to include a log. Now I do have some videos on how to pull good logs and how to pull logs using ADB and uh, there's also several tools out there that will help do that for you on your phone. Several apps out there that you can use if you don't want to use a tool like ADB um, or doing that by hand. Uh, several that just you click a button and it will pull the logs right for you. Uh, one that comes to mind off the top of my head, I believe uh, Kernel Audiuter uh, will uh, pull logs for you, which is very handy. And there's there's several others. So if you do have a problem, put as much information as possible, and if possible, pull a log while the problem is occurring. For instance, if the GPS is not working um, when you use this particular app then um, use the app and pull the log and supply that so then people not only can help you based on having all the information of what phone, what kernel, what build, what ROM but they know, oh, here's the logs, 
let's look through those and they see oh here's here's maybe something that you should try or look at and so posting a good question you should be respectful and be polite and post as much information as possible even if it might seem a little bit irrelevant to post that much information uh, I do feel that it will really help you in the long run